So here I'm in Cowabunga V2, and it's got the data definition we did before, and it's got a main function that calls Big Bang with the three handlers, on tick, to draw, and on key. And I've given those functions the names next cow, render cow, and handle key. And here's the wish list entries. The signatures are formulaic, of course. Once we know that the changing world state is represented by a type called cow, all these signatures come automatically. But I did spend some time thinking about the purposes that I put in here. So I said for next cow that it increases the cow x by dx and it bounces off the edges, just to remind me that when the cow gets to the edge, it has to turn around. In this one, I said place the appropriate cow image on MTS at its current position and center Y. And appropriate here is reminding me that sometimes I use the cow that faces right and sometimes I use the cow that faces left. And for handle key, I put reverse the direction of cow travel when the space bar is pressed. At this point, we're set up to go, and all that has to happen is to complete the design of these three functions. There are a couple interesting things that happen in the design of these functions, though. So I'm going to go ahead and work through next cow and render cow in more detail so that you can see how that plays out. So now I need to work my wish list until it's done, and the first wish list entry is for next cow. So let me start with that. I've already got the signature purpose and stub. I need to work on the examples. So let's see, examples are going to look something like this. Next cow, they're always going to consume some sort of cow. And they're always going to produce some sort of cow. So that's kind of the skeleton of an example. Let's try to fill them in some. Let's see, a simple case is that the cow is somewhere in the middle of the screen. Let's just assume that 20 is less than the full width. And it's moving at a velocity of 3, which means it's moving 3 pixels to the right each time. And that means that on the next tick, that cow should be at 20 plus 3 and still moving at the same velocity. So that's a cow in the middle moving left to right. Let's do a cow in the middle that's moving right to left. Let's see, that cow would just be at minus 20 and 3 and still moving right to left. So that's those two cases. These are middle cases. I said in the analysis that we let the cow go all the way up to the edge of the box but without changing direction. So let's do that case next. Let me make some more copies of this before I edit it. So let's see, we might have a cow moving from left to right that's just about to get all the way to the edge of the box. So that might be a cow, for example, that's at width minus three and moving three pixels to the right per tick. So that cow after this tick will be all the way to width and still think it's moving towards the right. It hasn't bounced yet, because we said we were going to let it get all the way to the edge. It'll bounce the next time. And another cow might be, let's see, it might be at 3, moving with speed minus 3. And that means that when this tick is done, it'll be all the way at zero and still think it's going to head towards the left, even though it's not. It'll bounce on the next tick. So these are somewhere, these, what, how would we describe these cases? These are cases where it's going to reaches, the, the cow reaches the very edge. And now it seems like there's going to be two more cases for when the cow would actually pass the edge. Let's see, there's a case where the cow might be at, let's say, width minus two, moving three to the right each time. And what are we gonna do with that cow? Well, let's put it all the way at the edge, but now headed back towards the center. It needs to change its direction now, so we'll change its direction to that basically make it reverse its direction because it was it, 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 it actually tried to leave the box so now it's going to be at the edge but it's going to be heading 
towards the center of the box again. And the corresponding case, of course, is that there's a cow at two that's headed towards the left. And we'll say, no, 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 you can't leave the box. You stay at the edge of the box, and now you're heading the other way. So these are cows that, these two cows, they try, these cases try to pass the edge. Let's see, are all of those well formed? They are all well formed. And you can see those cases are a little bit complicated. That's a feature of this design method, which is that I'm working out all these complex boundary cases before I actually get to coding the general purpose function. I've got some concrete examples to help me understand the function, and I've got tests for when I get the function going. So now let's see, let's go get the template. There's the template for a cow. And I've got these notes here in the template. I'll make a note to myself that says I took template from cow. I'll rename this function to next cow. And I've got a note for myself that says that the template has the two fields and it also tells me the types of the fields to remind me what's going on there. Now let's think about the examples for a second. What do the examples tell us in terms of how many cases of cow behavior there are? In all four of these cases, the cow really keeps doing whatever it was doing. Here it goes from 20 to 23 and its direction doesn't change. Here it goes from 20 to 17 and its direction doesn't change. Here it goes from width minus 3 to width, its direction doesn't change. Here it goes from 3 to 0, but its direction doesn't change. These four are all really the same case. They're just the keep doing what you're doing case. But these two are different. This is the case where the cow tries to leave the right-hand edge of the box, and this is the case where the cow tries to leave the left-hand edge of the box. So my next step in building the template for this function is I'm going to give myself a three-case con. I'm going to say con, and then in each case, now that I know what these types are, I'll just delete this note. And then in each case, I'll give myself two copies of the template to work with, the question version and the answer version. And I'll have three of these. So now let me see, how do I think about these cases? Well, this case here is the case where if the cow kept going, it would leave the box by the right edge. It would go too far. So what does that mean it would go too far? Well, it means that if I took the cow's current x position and I added the dx to it, this expression here is what the cow's position would be if it just kept going. And in this case, what happens is that if the cow just kept going, then its position would end up being greater than width. The cow would leave the right edge of the box. And of course we don't want the cow to do that. We want the cow to be a nice docile creature that stays inside the box. And so instead of letting it leave the box, we're going to say, no, 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 no. You're going to be a new cow that is going to be right at the edge of the box. And your new velocity will basically be the opposite of your current velocity. And in racket, if you call the minus primitive with a single argument, it just changes the sign of the number. So if you call minus with 3, it gives you minus 3. If you call minus with minus 6, it gives you 6. So this changes the direction of the cow, and this puts it right at the edge of the box. So that's this case here. Now let's look at this case here. Well, this is a case where if you let the cow just keep going, so this is the cow just keeps going, then it would end up outside the left edge of the box. Its position would end up less than zero, 
And of course, we don't want the cow to do that. We want it to stay in the box. So we're going to say, no, instead, we're going to have a cow that's at the very left edge of the box. And once again, we're just going to flip its direction around. So that's this case. And now all these other cases are just the cow keeps doing whatever it was doing. So we don't need a question here. We'll just put an else. And we'll say, well, the new cow is a cow that keeps doing whatever it was doing. That's plus cow of x and cow of dx. This is this same expression we used here and here to see where will the cow end up if we just let it keep going. Well, this cow is going to just keep going and its new dx is just going to be the same as its old dx because it's just going to keep going. So let's try all our tests now. Oops, this make is wrong. This is supposed to be make cow. All six tests pass. Now look, this in some sense is the most complicated function we've designed so far. Now it's complicated entirely due to domain knowledge. It's complicated because the geometry of an object moving back and forth across a box and handling the edge conditions right is a bit complicated. But notice something important. If you break it down into all of these six examples, and then you realize that those six examples are really just three cases, then it isn't complicated. The design method really worked for us here. It told us to do the examples first, which broke the problem down, and helped us then take the template and put structure onto it. Here's an example of the design method making a moderately difficult problem a lot easier.